Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. I'm holding on tight. Uh, yeah. Oh dear. There you go, love. These leaves were blocking the gutter. Oh, thanks for getting them out, love. I know you don't like heights. Why don't you like being high up, Dad? I just feel frightened, Julian. Well, now that job's done. I'd better go and pick up the post. And we've got your rucksack to pack, Julian. Oh, yes, you're going hill walking with Ajay today, aren't you? Yes, and we're going to have a barbecue lunch. Bye, Dad. Bye, you two. Come on, Jess. We've got work to do. Check. Map. Check. Camping table. Check. <laughs> oh. There, Alf. You two look busy. Hi, Pat. We're moving the sheep up to the hillside. There's better grazing for them up there. I wish Bessie could stay here with me. Bessie's been Bill's pet since she was a little lamb. Oh, I see. I'm sure she'll like it up there, Bill. And you'll be able to visit her from time to time. Suppose so. Better get a move on, son. Ajay will be waiting to get your walk started. I'm on my way to the station, Bill. I can give you a lift if you like. Great. Thanks, Pat. See you later, Dad. Have a good day, son. Bye. Bye, Bessie. <laughs> Here I am. Hello, Bill. Hi, Dad. Hi, Julian. Goodness me, Ajay. That's a lot of gear. <laughs> He's only going for a morning walk. <laughs> and I'm cooking a barbecue lunch for five. When you go out on the hills, Pat, you've got to be ready for everything. 
Go on, everyone. Have a good time. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Ladies, off you go. Don't fret, Bessie. Bill and come and see you soon. Dad, are you sure we're going the right way? Dad, you've been reading the map upside down. <laughs> <coughs> this way to Greendale Crag. You should always close a gate in case animals get out. Yes, Dad. Is your dad always this serious when he goes out walking? Always. Camp here. Can't we have the barbecue at the top of the crag, Jay? No, Sarah. That's too dangerous. Besides, it's better here where it's nice and sheltered. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> Miss Jess, look at those sheep up there on top of Greendale Crag. I'm sure they're not supposed to be there. I think we'd better take a look. Bessie! Is ready, Dad. I'll just see, Mera. <gasps> Thanks, Ajay. That sounds just like <laughs> Bessie. Oh no! Get back, Bessie! Stay there, Bessie! I'm coming! You can't climb up there, Bill. It's too dangerous. But, but, she'll fall. Ajay! Ajay! Bad? Is that you? Where are you? Up here. Go back to the road, Ajay. Try and get some help. Right you are, Pat. Stay right where you are. All of you. Help! <sighs> Stop! Help! Hello, Ajay. What's the matter? Oh, Amy. Thank goodness. There's a sheep stuck halfway up the crag. Oh, no. Oh, oh Bessie. Oh, what are we going to do? Don't worry, Bill. Amy will get Bessie down. What do you think we should do, Amy? I think I'll go up to the top and use my climbing ropes to get to Bessie and then I'll put a harness on her and bring her down to you. Right. Oh, isn't Amy brilliant?
Did you knot the rope to the tree, Pat? I'm going to abseil down to Bessie. Is it safe? Don't worry, I've abseiled lots of times. OK, I'm ready. Good luck, Amy. Okay, Bessie. Don't panic. There. You're safe now. Take us down to Bill right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What's happening? Oh. Oh. <gasps> the rope stuck on a rock, Amy. Oh no. Can you loosen it, Pat? <clears throat> Not from up here. Then you'll have to climb down and do it. <gasps> oh no! Dad's afraid of heights. All right, Amy. Hold on. Will do! Meow! <sighs> I know. I'm scared too, Jess, but I can't leave Amy and Bessie dangling in midair. There's nothing to be frightened of. I saw Amy do it, and she was fine. <laughs> Hold the rope tightly, Pat. <laughs> and slowly lower yourself down. Here I come, Amy. That's so brave. Uh, I know. <clears throat> Don't worry, Bessie. I've got you. <clears throat> Won't be a second, Amy. It's, uh... uh it's stuck tight. Got it. Whoa! Oh. We both made it, Ajay. Oh, Dad! I thought you were afraid of heights. <laughs> I am. But I had to rescue Amy and Bessie. You were wonderful, Pat. You can come abseiling with me any time you like. Oh, no thank you, Amy. One mountain rescue is quite enough for me. Postman, <laughs> <laughs> postman, Pat, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Meow. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just.
just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red van All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock Ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat And his black and white cat Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. to show you my Bollywood dance. Well, I'm in a bit of a rush, Julian. It won't take long. <laughs> well done. Fantastic, Julian. Mr Pringle said we've got to practice today so that we'll be perfect for the spring dance tonight. Will you dance tonight, Dad? Oh, uh, uh, well... Uh... Of course. Your dad and I will dance the night away. Uh, oh. Come on, love. Da, 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 dum, I... I... Oops. Oh, oh. oh, sorry, love. <coughs> la, 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 oh. la, 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 Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, sorry, love. I've got two left feet when it comes to dancing. You didn't used to be so awkward, Pat. You've forgotten how to dance, Dad. <laughs> You'll have to come and have dance lessons with Mr Pringle. I don't think that'd help, Julian. I'm useless. Never mind, love. I promised Nisha I'd take care of the refreshments. I won't have much time for dancing tonight anyway. <sighs> oh, well. I'd better get a move on. Come on, Jess. Bye, love. Bye. Bye, Dad. You told me yesterday you love dancing, Mum. Oh, I do, Julian. But it's not much fun dancing on my own. I can guess what you're practising for, Mrs Goggins. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so looking forward to tonight's dance. I'm sure you are too, Pat. <laughs> Not at all, Mrs Goggins. I can't dance for toffee. Oh, what will poor Sarah do without a dance partner? Oh, well... Uh... That's it, Jess. Oh, hello, Pat. Come and join in the hand jive. Oh, no, sorry, Dorothy. Got lots to do. Bye. Meow. <laughs> Oh, I wonder what's wrong with Pat. The whole village has gone dance crazy, Jess. Everybody's dancing. Everybody but me. Dun, 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 dun. Da 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 da
Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great, Ajay. Your turn now, Sarah. <laughs> yes, come on, Sarah. You'll be the star of the show. Oh, no. I won't be dancing tonight, Ajay. But you love dancing, Sarah. Oh, well, I can't dance and serve the teas, Nisha. Da -da 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 Goodness me, even Dr. Gilbertson's rehearsing for tonight. Not you too, Jess. One, two, together. One, two, together. And round you go, Nisha. One, two, three. One, two, three. To the side. And round again. We make a great team, Nisha. Oh. Oh, dear. My word, Jeff, you've got your hands full. I only hope they get it right by tonight. Ow! Stop treading on my toes, Bill Thompson. Well, stop tripping me up, Sarah Gilbertson. I wasn't tripping you up. You got in my way. Come and dance. Come on, Dad. Sorry, haven't got time. Got to finish my round. Oh, Dad. Hello, Sarah. Oh, hello, Reverend Tins. I'm sure you and Pat are looking forward to the dance. Uh, well, no, not really. Pat's not keen on dancing and, and I'll be serving the refreshments. Oh, that's a great pity. Yes, well, <laughs> see you later, Reverend. Come on, Jess. Yes. Meow. Come and look at this. Meow. Hey, Pat, come in. Uh, well, no, I... Come and dance, Pat. I can't dance, Ted. I'm useless. If I can dance... You can dance. One, two, three, four, spin. Turn around, Pat. And turn again. Hey, this is easy. Of course it's easy. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. Let's rock and roll. Five, six, seven, roll. One, two, three, rock. Five, six, seven, roll. I'm going home to put on my dancing shoes, Jess. Meow. <laughs> I'm going to rock and roll tonight. <laughs> Meow. One, two, three, rock. Five, six, seven, roll. One, two, three, rock. Five, six, seven, roll. Let's rock and roll. I'd like to thank you all for coming to Greendale's Spring Dance. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. Hey, I wouldn't miss it for the world. So take your partners, please, and let's dance. Those two. They're very good, aren't they?
grand. Oh, wonderful. arrived yet, Sarah? Uh, no, no, he's, he's not much of a dancer. Oh, that's a shame. Well, better get back to the refreshments. Everybody will be hungry after their dancing. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the children of Greendale, who'll dance the Bollywood special for your entertainment tonight. Marvellous. And now a very special song for a very special person. Look at my dad! He looks so cool! Pat! Could I have the pleasure of the next dance, Mrs Clifton? Oh, I'm not sure. Go on, go for it, but Oh, wonderful! Brilliant! Oh, so romantic! Hooray! Well done! Ma! 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 I thought you couldn't dance, Pat. Ted Glenn taught me this afternoon. Once I stopped worrying about it, I began to enjoy myself. Oh, Pat. Thank you. <laughs> Let's dance the night away. Like a white cat. All the birds 
something special into school and talk about it. Aha, uh -huh, show and tell. Yes, but I can't decide what to take. Hey, Julian, Julian, look at this. It's a micro-sized super spy two-way walkie-talkie. We can talk to each other even if we're miles apart. Like, like this. This is Charlie to Julian. Charlie to Julian. <laughs> I think we'll leave you to it. Come on, Jess. Oh, all right, sleepyhead. I'll come back for you later. They're great, Charlie. Let's try them when we're further apart. OK. This is Charlie to Julian. Charlie to Julian. Charlie? Charlie? Uh, oh, I don't think it's working. Charlie? Meow. Charlie? Julian, is that you? Yes. Oh, Ooh, you're here. My handset's not working. No, mine. Meow. 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 Oh, here we go. It's OK now. Where's yours? In the house. I'll go and get it. Where's it gone? Meow. This is Charlie to Julian. Jess? Julian? Meow. Can you hear me? Meow. Hello? <laughs> oh, Jess. Meow. For a minute I thought you were talking to me. Julian? Is that you? Hi, Charlie. Come inside. You'll never guess what happened. <laughs> you actually thought <laughs> Jess was talking to you. <laughs> hey, that's given me an idea. <sighs> if we attach one of the handsets to Jess's collar, we'll have the best show and tell ever. Meow. The world's first talking cat. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name's Jess. Wow! It's just like Jess is really speaking. Hello. <gasps> Anyone seen Jess? Is Dad. Quick, let's try it out on him. Oh. <laughs> there you are, Jess. Meow. Had a nice nap? No. Yes, thank you, Pat. <laughs> it was very nice. Come on, Jess. Meow. We've got work to do. Meow. He didn't hear. Oh. Do it again. Oh, <gasps> it's not working. What are you two up to? <gasps> um. Uh. There. It just needed a new battery. Hee, <laughs> it works. Thanks, Mum. Come on, Charlie. Let's try it again. to the church. Come on. Meow. <laughs> 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 A 
hello, hello, hello. Anyone about? Hello, Arthur. Pat? Over here, Arthur. Jess? Wow. Hello, Arthur. Is everything all right? It's incredible, Pat. Incredible. What is? You mean he hasn't spoken to you? Who hasn't spoken to me? Well, Jess, of course. <laughs> Jess. He knew my name, Pat. Good morning to you, Pat. Arthur, Jess can talk, Reverend. Who? Really? <laughs> you must be hearing things. No. See? I told you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Pat. Come on, Jess. Bye-bye, Reverend. Bye-bye, Arthur. Ooh. Have a nice day. He called you Arthur. He called you Reverend. <laughs> <laughs> Yes? You look lovely too, Nisha. <gasps> Pat, you're not going to believe this, but we just heard Jess talk. <laughs> not you too, Nisha. Everyone's trying to play jokes on me today. <laughs> <laughs> Mustache. Bye. Bye, Nisha. Bye, Nick. <laughs> my tummy hurts. <laughs> oh, mine too. <laughs> Let's go home and have a drink. We'll play some more later. <laughs> I don't know, Ted. People keep saying they're hearing Jess talk. Well, he hasn't got a lot to say for himself now, has he? <laughs> no. Well, that's my last post of the day. Come on, Jess. Jess? Where's he gone? <laughs> Perhaps he got fed up of talking and went home on his own. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for him. Thanks, Ted. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what have you two been up to? <laughs> <laughs> Attached one of the walkie talkies to Jess's collar. <laughs> and, and people <laughs> thought he could talk. <laughs> poor Jess. And poor people. It was just a joke. Well, I know, love, but you could have given someone a real fright. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mum. I'll call Pat on the walkie talkie and say sorry to him, too. Talking cat. <laughs> I don't know. Hello? Hey? Hello? Uh, 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 who's there? Hello? Oh. Yeah. Hello? Oh, no good, he can't hear me. Let me try. Hello? Pat? Can you hear me? Meow. Meow. Oh. We'll just have to wait until... Oh, Pat! Hello, everyone. Has anyone seen Jess? He wandered off at Ted's Mill and we thought he might have come back here. Meow! Meow! Jess? We've not seen him, Dad, but we might be able to talk to him. Hey? Meow! Jess! 
Jess. Meow. It's Pat. Meow. Now, Jess. Meow. We don't know where you are, but we want you to come Meow. home. Meow. Come on, Jess. Meow. Jess. 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 Ted Glenn, you should be ashamed of yourself. There's nothing scary in that mill. <coughs> Jess, there you are. I'd better phone Pat. Oh, uh. <coughs> Come on, we'll go together, eh? <coughs> right then. Uh, where's that phone? Jess? Oh, not again. Can you hear me, Jess? What's that? Hello? I know that voice. Ted? Pat? Thanks, Ted. I'll be over straight away to pick him up. Bye. I don't think Greendale's quite ready for a talking cat yet, do you, boys? No, no Mr. Dad. We haven't got anything for show and tell now. Why don't you just show Jess as he is? Suppose so. <laughs> Thanks, Lucy. That was great. Who's next? Julian and Charlie? We were going to show my walkie-talkie. Yeah! But we can't. Aww. So we're going to show you Jess instead. Hello, everyone. Ooh. <gasps> Jess, was that you? Of course it was me, Julian. I'm the amazing talking cat. But, but, I, I, I... Are you all right, Charlie? Ow! Ta-da! Dad? <gasps> he's got one of the handsets. And here's the other one on Jess's collar. Sorry, boys. I couldn't resist it. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, boys. After all, you've given us a show and tell we'll never forget. Isn't that right, everyone? Hooray! 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 Oh, brilliant. Oh. Postman, postman, pets. Can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red van All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure There'll be knock ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. That 
that's it for the morning, Jess. Just a couple more letters and we're done. Meow. Hello. Who's that? Dr. Gilbertson. What are you doing so far from home? Oh, hello, Pat. I'm on my way up to Thompson Ground to see Alf. He's in bed with a bad cold. Well, we're going that way. We could give you a lift. Oh, thank you, Pat. It must be hard work visiting your patients without a car, Dr. Gilbertson. Oh, I can't complain, Pat. Home visits are part of my job. Although I must say, it is very nice to have a lift once in a while. Here we are, Doctor. Thompson Ground. Oh, thank you, Pat. Oh, that's right, Jess. I nearly forgot. We've got a letter for you, Dr. Gilbertson. Really? Oh, it's from my sister in Pencaster. Oh, the birthday card. Is it your birthday soon? Uh, yes, today, actually. Today? Well, many happy returns. I hope you've got something special planned. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm far too busy for birthdays, Pat. But... Thanks again for the lift. Too busy for birthdays, eh, Jess? Meow. Poor Dr. Gilbertson. Hello, Sarah. What's the matter? It's my mum's birthday today, and I want to get her something really special. But I can't think of anything. Hmm, that is a problem. How about a dog? Dogs make her steeze. A chemistry set? She doesn't like experiments. A uh, new pair of football boots? Those are all things you two want for your birthdays. You're right. We've got to think of something your mum will like. Uh, I've got an idea. But it might take a bit of work. First, we need Lucy. Follow me. But where are we going? Charlie? Charlie! You mean poor Dr Gilbertson has to go around visiting a patient on foot? Hmm. On a birthday? Hmm. Well, that's terrible. We've got to do something. Yes, but what? How about roller skates? They'd be no good going up hills, Ted. A bicycle? That's too wobbly. A skateboard? No, Ted. Uh, what Dr Gilbertson really needs is a car. A car, eh? Come and have a look at this. Hmm. What are you up to, Ted? Ta-da! What do you reckon? She's a beauty, Ted. You're right there, Pat. There's just one problem. What's that? She hasn't started in years. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here? No luck. Nothing. Hello there. What's all this noise? It's this car. We want to fix it up as a birthday present for Dr Gilbertson. Dr Gilbertson's birthday, eh? Yeah. Now, that is special. Trouble is, she won't start. What you need is an expert. Someone who really knows their stuff. What about Ajay? He restored the Greendale rocket. This might be right up his street. Of course I'll do it, Pat. I'll come over right away. That's great news, Ajay. See you soon. Bye. What's that, Ajay? Can't stop, Nisha. It's Dr. Gilbertson's birthday today. I'm off to help Pat and Ted organise special surprise. Hmm. Dr. Gilbertson's birthday, eh? We should do something special. What about a surprise tea party? Capital idea. We'd better get started, then. We haven't got a moment to lose. There she is! Hey, Lucy, stop! <sighs> we need your help. It's my mum's birthday today, and Charlie's had this brilliant idea. We're going to write her a song. And sing it for her. But 
We need a good singer. Will you help? Will you, will you? I suppose so. But first I've got to... No time for that, Lucy. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, what's the verdict? Well, the bad news is that she hasn't been driven for a long time. The engine's dirty, you see. Several parts will need replacing. Oh. The good news is that is nothing I can't fix. Given the right tools, some spare parts and lots of tea and biscuits. I'll get me toolbox. I'll find the parts. And I'll make the tea. Whoops! <coughs> right. We've got our keyboard. Our drummer. And our singers. La. La. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. That's just the ticket. Pass me the wrench, will you? Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh, Wack. I'm sorry, Arthur. Well, at least it's washed off the coal dust. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Dr. G. You're our favourite, can't you see? Happy birthday, Dr. G. You're our favourite GP. <laughs> Do you know what, buddy? I think we'd better leave the singing to the people who are good at it. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Ted Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Phew. Well, that's it, lads. She's finished. I'll start her up, shall I? Oh, dear. And we've come to say happy birthday. <laughs> it just needs something at the end to finish it off. I know. Sarah. You know that funny deep voice you can do? What this? La 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 la. <laughs> it's no good, Dad. I just can't find anything. What's wrong, Jess? Is there something in there? Let's see. Hmm. Pass me the toolbox, please. There's your problem. <laughs> It's an old mouse nest. No wonder Jess was so interested. And no wonder the car wouldn't run properly. Bingo! It's like... It's like a... It's lightning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at last. It's been a long day. There's no time to lose. I'll go and get Dr Gilbertson. Come on, Jess. I can't wait to see her face when she sees that car. Me neither. Where are you off to, Arthur? Sorry, Ted. I just had an idea for another present. Something for me to give. Bye. Oh. <sighs> oh, dear. No one at home. And I did want to give Pat a pot of my homemade jam to say thank you. <sighs> hmm. Perhaps I'll sit down and wait for a bit. I think I'll close my eyes just for a minute. <sighs> Funny, Dr. Gilbertson's always around at this time. 
Dr Gilbertson, I wonder where she is, Jess. Jess? Hello, everyone. Hello, love. What do you think of Dr Gilbertson's birthday tea? It looks grand, Sarah. There's just one problem. What's that, Bat? I can't find Dr Gilbertson. <sighs> right then. Tell RJ and Ted to bring the car down here. You three search the village. She must be around somewhere. OK? OK, right Bat. you are. Oh. oh, Jess. Oh, goodness me, I must have fallen asleep. Oh, dear. I must get home. Sarah will be wondering where I am. Oh, what's all this? Must be some sort of special occasion. Stay where you are, please, Doctor. Oh. <coughs> Arthur, you made me jump. Sorry, Doctor. Police orders. Oh, yeah. Now then. Oh, what's going on? Oh, what on earth? One, two, three! If our tongues begin to swell Or if our throats get sore You're the one to make us well You bring us the cure so we're here to share On your special day And we come to say Happy birthday Happy birthday Oh, oh that was happy, happy birthday, Bob Thank you, children That was marvellous <laughs> oh. oh, but what's this? What a lovely car. Do you like it, Doctor? Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Well, good. Because it's for you. For me? <laughs> it should make your doctor's rounds yeah. much easier. And this is from me, in case it ever breaks down. Oh, Arthur. How oh. kind. <sighs> Pat? Everybody, I... I don't know what to say. Well, there's nothing to say, except... Happy, Happy birthday, Dr. Gilbertson! Hooray! Hooray! Hooray!